Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the quotient rule. So quotient rule. So the quotient rule is a rule that tells you how to compute the derivative of a quotient or a fraction. So if you have the derivative of f of x over g of x. So here is how you do it. So I think of f as the top or first and g as the bottom or the second. And so the quotient rule says you take the derivative of the first or the top times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second or the bottom piece all over the bottom one squared. So that is the quotient rule. Um, let's briefly recall the product rule. So if you look at the product rule, that tells you the derivative of f of x times g of x. And look at this. Look how related this is. If you think of this as the first and this is the second, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So you see it's almost the same, right? The only difference is in the quotient rule, you have a minus and you're dividing by the g squared. So um, that's the reason I do it this way. When I say that, I say that because if you look in most textbooks, um, they, they might do it a little bit differently. Like they might put the g prime here or something like that. It's the same thing. Um, I like doing it this way because it matches, right? It, it almost looks the same, so it's much easier to remember if you do it this way. Let's do an example of the quotient rule so you see how it works. Uh, it's actually not too bad. So say we have uh, f of x uh, equal to, uh, I don't know, let's, how about, uh, let's keep it simple, um, sine x over x. And so we're going to use the quotient rule. So f prime of x. So let's see. So this is our top piece or our first piece. And this is our bottom piece or our second piece. So it's going to be the derivative of the first or the top piece. So the derivative of sine is cosine times the bottom piece. So times x minus the top. So sine x times the derivative of the bottom piece. Well, the derivative of the bottom piece is 1, all divided by the bottom piece squared. Let's go over that again. So it's the derivative of the top, which is cosine, times the bottom, which is x, minus the top, which is sine, times the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, all over the bottom 1 squared. The last thing to do is maybe rewrite this, make it look a little bit better, Typically, you put the x in front of the cosine function so that there's no confusion between these x's here. Minus, and sine x times 1 is simply sine x. That's all being divided by x squared. And that is the final answer. So um, that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.